There we go. Hi everybody, this is Simon Lovell. Welcome, and it is rather hot in this onesie, but I would like to reveal to you very slowly. I'm here. And why am I here? Why am I here? The reason I am here is because I am with the amazing Marshall Wayne, because we have decided during the month of November to put together a series of very special marketing hangouts which as well as providing lots of awesomeness to the world are going to raise money for a fantastic charity. Now what had been happening on Facebook over the past week if you had not seen is that lots of different pictures had been appearing of beautiful men and women <laughs> with these digital moustaches and I got very intrigued by this and I have been uh, uh, friends with Marshall for a while now, and I was like, I want one of these digital moustaches. You know, it takes me uh, quite a bit of time to grow mine. So I thought, what's going on here? So got in touch with Marshall, and we discussed the possibility of us doing these hangouts. Marshall, what inspired you to <laughs> create these masterpieces, and, and what was the the motivation behind it? Yeah, I don't know if it was inspiration. It was just that. You know, I create a lot of digital things, sometimes, a lot of times just nonsense. And so I thought, well, it's, you know, the November thing's coming up, I'm going to donate, but I can't grow a mustache to save my life. I mean, this is, you know, can I, can I just say, plateaus. Can I, yeah. can I just say that you've already got a head start, by the time the I end do. of the cover comes, you're going to look like a Sasquatch. I, no, I think, this is like, you know, it goes up quickly and then plateaus. This is it. This is 30 years from now. I not look got like things this, growing in there shape. by the end of the month, no. No, this does not go beyond this level. I don't think. Well, I have decided. <laughs> I have decided to to be fresh faced so that during the the month of November I can track my progress. So yeah. how oh, did you're the gonna photo. How, go on? Sorry. You're gonna do the little photo yeah. Uh, montage, yeah. Good. So for those watching, what? spark this? What sparked the kind of uh, putting these digital moustaches on ladies? Uh, well, because I posted the photo of myself with the digital moustache and then emasculatingly said I can't grow a good moustache so here's this is as good as it's gonna get. I didn't think of a charity but a friend said hey why don't you just put moustaches on people that you know aren't gonna grow a moustache so I, I a friend started it off and then I posted the photo of him, and then people were like, oh, that's a good idea. But then a woman, Denise, uh, she decided, I want one for me, and then my friends, and then she kicked it off, and then it became pretty big. Kate Buck Jr. then saw it, and then she was like, blasted it everywhere. And so Kate and I have this idea for a calendar of <laughs> sexy women with mustaches now that we're going to do. So you get a whole bunch of things brewing. So for those that don't know, the, the November... Um, charity is for which cause? Uh, prostate cancer prevention and cure. So uh, it's like a save the penis movement, sort of. <laughs> there's a lot of breast action. There's a lot. There's a lot of breast action that goes on yes, around the world. There is. There's people running for breasts. There's people doing a lot of breast stuff. So we need to measure it out with penis, correct? <laughs> yeah, run for penis. Penis is measure. You need to measure. Uh, our impact on the penis world. So penis and breast brought together in this amazing <laughs> matrimony and now we have this fantastic thing that's happening. So so in today's, in today's video we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be covering a lot of talk about branding and how that's important and then what's gonna yeah. happen over the next thirty days is there's gonna be lots of different videos from different top marketers talking about lots of different subjects, including breasts, penises and whatever <laughs> they decide they want to talk about. It's going to be fantastic. Now, before we get going into the main part of this presentation with where Marshall's going to be sharing some of his wisdom and knowledge in terms of the importance of branding for your business, whatever you have, whether you run a small widget company or a bigger brand, um, there's going to be a link below where you can donate and get Marshall mm -hmm. to produce you a a digital moustache which you can use in your own marketing and branding. You might want to post it to your timeline, post a picture, show people that you are getting involved in this amazing charity. So click the link below. Marshall, it's 25 bucks, right? $25 to get this digital. 25 for that, right? But yeah. what started kicking it off more was when people asked for a cover photo 
Uh, are, you, are you prepared to do, instead of the moustache, digital pubes? If someone has a pube I, problem... I'll do digital pubes, yeah. I will do that. What's the price of a digital pube? <laughs> How do you know that I didn't just took pu take pubes and then have been putting using that as mustaches? Because I don't, to you be don't fair, know. I don't, I don't think iStock Photo do pube pictures. No, but I mean a selfie. Right? <laughs> <laughs> um, this is already getting out of hand, which is exactly, <laughs> which is exactly what we wanted. Um, uh, all of our friends are pretty sick minds, so. So. What, we're also looking for experts. If you're an expert in a particular field and you've got a, to a topic you want to talk about, which is aside from this strangeness that we're talking about right now, <laughs> um, then we want to hear from you. Um, head yes. to uh, Simon Level Marketing, facebook.com slash Simon Level Marketing. Let us know your superpower or if this, if this is video is being shared, comment below. But most of all, the most important thing about this whole, um, um, so people can see me. The most important thing about this whole presentation is that uh, we generate money for charity. So click the link below, $25 for a, um, a digital moustache. Plus, you can also get a timeline photo done, right, Marshall? Yeah, 100 bucks. So I showed you AJ's. I just did an Inception-themed one that is really, it's pretty amazing. Normally, I'd charge like 1000 bucks for something like that, but uh, for I guess... For me, it's a way for me to do cover photos without, because I wouldn't normally do it for a business, right? Because it's too small of a dollar amount. Um, so for charity, it was perfect. Plus, my work gets out with people that wouldn't otherwise have been able to, you know, afford it. So do you want to dive into talking about um, branding, or do you want to go to yeah, uh, sharing, for... sharing your sharing your screen with these digital mustaches? You wanted to do that, or you wanted to? You want to uh, take a rip at yours? Let's go for it. Let's, let's so share this? some screens and let's okay. uh, show the viewers how this digital masterpiece is created. Okay, let me clear out some. Okay. All right, where are we? Where's my screen share? There we go. Let me know when you see it. You see yourself. Your your face has just gone squashed. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we're in. We got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, this is uh, where is yours? As you can see, Marshall has a really tidy desktop. As do most. <laughs> this was actually tidy uh, this morning. So this is what what happens. I initially photoshopped Carl White on a uh, body of Brad Pitt. And so that was the start of my day. And then I started chatting with you. So that's kind of how I roll. There we go. There we ah, go. Lovely. <laughs> now we have to go. So we'll continue to talk as I do this. This will be quick, but, you know, we don't want dead so air. So, so first, first of all, I just wanted to ask you, what, what do you think the, for most, maybe some businesses watching that don't really understand branding, what, what is branding? Well, uh, essentially it's what the image that people have of you or your company in their mind whenever they think of you uh, they think of a certain thing and you'd preferably like that to be a positive thing and so I'm the sort of guy who makes it positive or a certain gives a certain magical flair to whatever you do or I try to and some people think that it's just like a logo right and that's completely wrong it's, I actually it's don't like logos I mean I it, unless you have a nationwide brand, they, they're not that effective in my mind. Uh, they're, they're usually not done well either. Am I? Uh, okay, let's see. I need to find the image. Where do you start when you, come, when you start creating a brand? What's the first thing you think of? Is it, is it <clears throat> the image? Is it maybe being a bit quirky, a little bit different? Well, uh, you, yeah, uniqueness first. Is that mustache big enough? <laughs> <laughs> is that or is that too small? Loving the Tash action. So we don't know if this will be the one, but, but we'll try this. Th that so. is strangely real to me. <laughs> it does. Well, I mean, I took it off a real guy, so on Fotolia. <laughs> So here's what I do. Uh, like I'll I'll do uh, okay Simon, right? 
And so let's say we are going to use that one. I don't know if we will, but this will be our starting point. Then I'll import this. I did that in Photoshop. Now I import it into Lightroom. I don't know if anybody's going to care to know any of this or be able to follow it, but... They're just going to want their digital tash for $25 and have it to go. <laughs> I know, because they're like, I'm not going to buy all that hardware. So, you know, I've been doing um, uh, high contrast black and white. So this is a little too high contrast, but you get the idea. We do uh, put some shadows in there. You know, you guys get the idea. For, for, for those that are thinking, you know, should I get this done, it's just about being different, right? So if you send in your, your kind of quirky picture and, you know, it's just about just letting your audience know that you're just, you know, I'm in a onesie for Christ's sake. Marshall yeah. <laughs> looks as freaky as he is normally. Um, but you can, you know, you can be a bit quirky and, and let your, it's let your, cute. let your, um, your customers and, and leads, you know, and your the people who are around your business know that you're not, you don't take yourself too seriously and that's what it's all about, right? Yeah, uh, it is because, uh, you know, it, f the hardest thing is like when you have a super serious uh, brand too much, uh, it's kind of like you have a stick up your butt and people don't like that a whole lot. And the sort of people who do like it are often the people you don't want as customers because then they're really terrible. They're like tyrants as, cu or as, uh, yeah, as clients. Okay, you, so that's one mustache. I was just going to ask, what were, you, what were you doing before you started doing this kind of digital stuff? When, when, when did you first kind of notice your creativity? Was it in different things? Was it in film? Was it in kind of at school? When did you kind of notice your talent for it? Uh, maybe when we were building this in art class, we were building these um, like toothpick uh, structures. You know, you take toothpicks, you glue them together uh, like a TP, and then you take more tooth, toothpicks, and then you have this big structure. I... That was like in fifth grade. I kind of thought, I'm good at this sort of thing. But I didn't ever go into art sort of things. I just used it for business because I'm an entrepreneur first. Um, I love marketing. I just like doing it creatively is all. That's what all. are some of the kind of biggest results? Just you as you do, you know. All your stuff is always unique and fun and interesting, not boring and stale and typical. What are kind of some of the biggest kind of results that people have had from from going to, with like no kind of branding to maybe their image changing, the kind of the impact on the business it's had them? Because it could be quite profound, right? Yeah, I mean, it, what usually happens, so what I do first, because sometimes a project can take a while. You know, I do some pretty big projects for people. And so they can take like a month or sometimes two months sometimes to, you know, go through all the things that are involved in a launch or, you know, you get the idea, four videos and like, imagery and photography and things like that and so what I do first is I'll take the the images and then we'll kind of pepper them in like shots across the bow so people can get acclimated to a new image so that people don't go from like an iPhone you know like iPhone photos all the time to all of a sudden having this amazing imagery so I'll create one image and then they post it just to their personal Facebook to kind of judge before they send it out to like tens of thousands of people mm -hmm. And then uh, generally they'll have like five times more response than they've ever had. People are just like going crazy asking them what they're doing. Old friends are, are jealous. Girlfriends call them back. <laughs> so... When I mean, when I do my videos on my, on my site and I go on to have strategy calls with those that want to grow their business, like mm -hmm. people will say like it's because of your videos that I've seen. It's like the quality. It's, yeah. It's yep. the quality of the branding and stuff. And, it's, and they say, like, their words are, I want that. That's yeah. what I want for my business. And That's so exactly you, right. And you, you combine a good photographer with some good digital imagery, awesome mm -hmm. branding, and you put that, you know, and you link that to someone that's got a really good skill. Because you could have a, the best skill in the world, but if you don't have good branding and good imagery to match it, you're kind of missing out on, on really accelerating your business and taking yeah. it to another level, right? Yeah, there's an incongruency there. You know, people say, well, if you're so successful, why, do you, why does your stuff look so terrible, right? Uh, that's kind of what they say in their mind, even if they don't say it to the person. And people want to be cheap too, right? They want to save a few quid here and there, and then they end up with a substandard brand. Like, I'll have some people come to me and say, you know, what do you think of this? And, and I said, well, did, did you do that yourself? And they're like, yeah. I'm like, no, go and get it <laughs> professionally. What, what do you think to people that try and, like, do their own thing and try and save, save a few quid... And, well, and just kind of do it themselves, right? They end up with something which is 
It's just ter terrible. Yeah. Um, I, I hate, I never critique people. I get a lot of people who send me things uh, in private message and ask, what do you think of this? And I mean, I can't bring myself to, you know, it's their first attempt, right? But they're asking me, not in terms of, hey, this is my first attempt, aren't you, you know, excited that I started this? Then I would be uber excited, but they're saying in a way of, does this look highly professional to you, right? Mm. And I don't know how people think your first attempt, like this right here, what I'm doing is probably my 10,000th attempt at, at this sort of thing. Not the mustache, but this, the element. I was going to say, you, you must have played with a lot of tashes uh, in your time. Yeah, definitely. Okay, which mustache do you like best? We will do a, a sort of taste test. <laughs> Maybe we'll get people to vote watching this video. This could be a good option. We should do that. Okay, I'll pull up all three. Okay, we've got this one with the oversized... We need, we need to, I think we need to name this type of tash. Mm. What is this like? Like a fancy boy with a top hat and a monocle, <laughs> right? I do. It, it is missing a monocle, I feel. Okay, like the Monopoly guy. <laughs> Colonel, no, is that right? Colonel something? Uh, I don't know what his name is. Somebody will comment. Someone will self-righteously comment. Uh, if his name is so-and-so. Why don't you people know that? The question you've got to ask yourself, though, is would you hire this guy? I'm not too sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, this is not our ultimate branding photo. We're going to do a cover photo. We should tell him because this is just for fun, for charity. But we're also doing a cover photo, of course, because Simon donated a lot more money than what was uh, requested. So we're going to do something really, really uh, cool. So, what, what's, uh, Marshall, what are some of your favorite brands, and what do you kind of like to look at and go and, and like kind of model sometimes? Well, generally it's movies. Um, you know, like I like Apple, Nike. They have amazing commercials. Um, but they... They, it's, it doesn't resonate as much with me because they're pushing products and where movies are pushing human beings like like Iron Man obviously uh, pushes Robert Downey Jr. and then that gives me ideas how to promote a person. So it's generally movies or I'll see a scene in a movie and think I need to, whatever feeling that scene gave me, I want people to feel about me. I need to figure out how to deconstruct that scene and generally I can figure it out to do it in an image because I often don't have the the budget to do it as a scene, obviously, with actors and whatnot. Yeah, like the big big companies, you know, like um, you know, like Pepsi, you know, they'll they'll hire a star because people associate so much pleasure to that star, and then they link up their brand with that star, and then instantly this person now watching the the advert has kind of good mm -hmm. thoughts about the brand, right? Yeah. What we need to do when it you know, can we maybe explain a bit more of this and how important it is that when people see a brand and you know imagery and the quality, it's got to say it's got to say more than just the name, right? It's got to it's got to install thoughts and it's got to be memorable, uh, memorable rather. Yeah, well, that's I mean that's why I like Nike a lot because they do use people. Michael Jordan was their huge springboard, as you know. Adidas was the big shoe company, and they just took a gamble on Michael Jordan to use a human being as their representative. And then people just funneled their love of Michael Jordan, thought of Nike as excellent because of Michael Jordan, and then it had that transference of energy from a person to a product, you know. And I think that's important. Um, what was the question? I don't even know where I was going. Am I back on screen? We were just talking about um, associating brands to, um, you know, like Pepsi, associating them. It's really important to associate something positive to your brand. Oh, so well, I answered it. Well, we're, we're, you did answer it. Where, <laughs> Am where I on does, screen again, or is it screen share? Yeah, you're back on screen. Okay, yeah. Where, where does someone start when they've got like when they know that they need to improve their branding? Where do they? What's the first thing that they need to do? Like, what what resources can they go to, and what things can they do first? Because some cause here's the thing. What I've noticed with my clients is that some people yeah. have like we have the eye for it, yeah. and some people don't. But you need it's, to indeed. identify with. Do I have an eye for it or not? Because if you don't and you're trying, you're never going to get there. Yeah, uh, that's for sure. Uh, outsource what you can't do uh, instead of thinking you can and just failing. Um, resources, I don't know. Uh, if you wanted resources to figure out how to do your own branding, YouTube. I mean, it has everything that you'd ever need to know. Um, 
but or just emulate guys who are doing it. If you just see what I put on my personal Facebook wall, you'd be quite shocked. Um, I mean, I, I share everything. Uh, because I think to a certain extent in any creative endeavor, you can tell people exa the exact formula they're using, but it's hard to replicate because you put your own uh, sort of spin on everything. So uh, it takes a lot to develop that style, uh, that uniqueness, you know. How can, um, how can people get hold of you if they want to kind of take that step and contact you and uh, get involved and have their branding supercharged? Obviously, we've got the, the, the uh, Movember as it is yep. a first port of call would be a good thing to do and make that $25 donation get your tash done and then once, yeah. you, and then once you've upgraded to pubes and then, uh, then you can get the whole caboodle right well actually what happens is you they pay $25 and then I there's a back end where they have to pay 100 just for me not to use pubes <laughs> there, you go. there it is so i shouldn't i don't know if i should have said that we can say anything we like. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You don't need to get embarrassed about this. Um, uh, so uh, but they can just go to my fan page, Marshall Wayne, or um, my personal page also. It's fine. What do you think? Uh, is good looking women. We can, I'll give the phone number. <laughs> <laughs> what What do you think is going to be the outcome by the end of the uh, by the end of the uh, end of November with with all this because we've kind of supercharged this a bit, right? It started off with yes. digital tashes. Now we've got videos on yes. uh, Google Hangouts. This is going to be a spread a lot more. What what's your vision for this? What what's the goal for the end of the ninety day uh, ninety days thirty days? Well, I don't know. I think we can get to ten thousand for sure because I'm already at, I just passed three thousand today. You know, like an hour ago. So I don't know, and that might be conservative. I don't know because we're we keep doing ever cooler thing so I mean I don't know and we have such a dynamic group of people so who knows but um, if we would have started this on June 1st or I mean January 1st instead of last week we'd be much further up the up the chain and we're already in ninth place in the United States already so and who would you like big. to who would you like to see on this uh, interview series I mean we could maybe do some three-way stuff too right so we can interview I'd like a three-way with Kate Buck <laughs> He's just put it out there, Kate. If you're watching, then we would love to have you on this very rather unique show. Um, Marshall, we I'm, can't go back now. No, I mean, that's going to be a quote with Kate tagged in it. I'd like a three-way with Kate Buck. We've Jr. got three ways with Kate Buck. We've got pubes. We've got penises and breasts. We've we've got mustaches. I mean, yep. it's probably the best marketing show on earth. <laughs> it is. I'm, but no, seriously, who would you as, apart from threesome with Kate Buck? Who else would you? Uh, um, I think having a threesome with. Um, some other top marketers would be great. Who would you like really like to have on during this 30 days? And what would you obviously for the women? We want them if they don't have a tash already, which we need to sort out yeah. with a shaver. Then we need them to <laughs> to paint them, right? You just yeah, well, got that can... really slowly. You were real slow, but you just got that. In. We need to tash removal. If you have a real one in real life, any women, I will just remove it for you <laughs> digitally, Wax, of course. Waxing not... strips, anything like that. Not in person. Just digitally. Okay. You've got to take care of your own self in person. So, <laughs> so who, would, who else would you like to see during this 30 days that we get on here? In, well, AJ in, for yeah, sure. One to one or, or three or four, foursome, yeah. maybe ninesome, because you know, we can get Yeah, we could get a few people, because uh, Kasai J and Kate Buck and I were going to do a, uh, a hangout on selfies, the value of you know cell phone selfies, uh, uh, which okay. would be fun. You'd have a good time on that. Um, I'm just going to put this back right up now. <laughs> Do it. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I'm not sure who. You know, I think what's going to happen is we'll post this and then... <laughs> you look like a prisoner. <laughs> I have the feeling like if you were in jail, you'd have a butt flap open. <laughs> okay, we're now going to finish this amazing Google Hangout. If you would like to... Donate $25 for either your pubes, um, Dash, or a three-wave Kate Buck. Please donate 20 Oh, she, She's going to hate us for this. Oh, no, she's right. This is right up her alley. <laughs> okay, we've really got to stop now. Okay, so... Okay. Donate, click the donate button. Get Marshall to do uh, you a... Um, let me get back on here. Uh, donate... 
um, $25 to this amazing charity. Please share this video, the craziness. Uh, if you would like mm -hmm. a timeline photo, um, all the details are going to be using the, the link below. We're going to get lots of exciting guests on this marketing show, share some insights, some comedy, um, and some more strangeness yes. from Marshall, I'm sure. Yeah. We will see you in the next video. And what we'll do at the end is we'll get back together again and we'll assess the craziness that happened um, mm. during the 30 days. And then we'll actually see how our Tashis are looking because at the moment there's not really anything there. And uh, as you can see from Marshall, he already you know, needs, needs a sh shave. Well, so, I did shower and that's, uh, that was a step. So. Okay, it doesn't no. look like it. I'm just... <laughs> Okay, we are going to end the broadcast now and, and see, see what the repercussions are. See you later. Yes.